everybody, this is Frank with RC Foam Fighters. Um, this week I wanted to go ahead and uh, do a quick update on my Foam Fighter Sparrow. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video on it. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you how the build is going. Um, it's been a bit of a delay though because I've been waiting on parts from Hobby King. Um, the motor that I originally wanted to use, they still haven't gotten in stock. So I've gone ahead and ordered an alternative motor. Um, it's not quite as powerful as the 1600 watt system I had in the Funjet, but it should still do the job pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look and see how the build is going. Okay, as you've seen from the pictures, um, the build is coming along pretty good since I finally got some parts to put it together. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit closer look at the plane and go over what I've got as far as a power system now. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we've got for the power system. Um, I'm going to still be using the same batteries I had in the Funjet. They're 2200 milliamp Flight Max uh, batteries or 40C. Um, I do have a new speed controller. I ended up getting one of the Turnigy K-Force 100 amp speed controllers. Um, it's supposed to have up to 150 amp burst rate on it. And they're supposed to be a lot smoother than the other Turnigy speed controllers. Um, the alternative motor that I picked is also a Turnigy motor. It's a 43 or a 42 millimeter motor um, and it's 1300 kV. It's not quite as powerful, like I said, as the motor that's in the Funjet. Um, but I did do a preliminary uh, test with the watt meter and it's pulling just under a thousand watts right now and it's turning a prop with more pitch. Um, I have a 7x8 sport prop on there right now and I'm thinking I might be able to get away with going up to a 7x9. Um, I haven't calculated out the prop speed just yet but I'm still thinking it should be able to get me up in the 140, 150 mile an hour range or maybe even faster. And um, like I said, if I don't like how it runs with this motor, um, when they do get more of those 1600 watt motors in, I'll probably end up switching it to that. But for now, I think this will be a good setup for testing this plane out. And the nice thing about it is uh, it's drawing a lot less amps. It's only pulling about 60 amps or less with the 7x8 prop on there. Um, so this speed controller is probably a little bit overkill for this setup, but it should work great if I decide to upgrade um, to the 1600 watt motor. Um, well anyway, that's the power system I'm going to be using for the maiden flights of this plane. Um, hopefully it won't be too much longer before I can get it all together. Um, the weather hasn't been the greatest lately. Um, it's been very cold out the past couple weeks and the forecast is not good for at least the next six or seven days. Um, but hopefully by then, by the time the weather turns around a little bit, I'll have the plane all together and we can get out maybe to Herman Airport and do a maiden flight. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here and I'll have more for you guys here soon. Like I said, I'll go ahead and continue the build and hopefully within a week or so we'll be able to get a test flight in. Uh, thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters and I'll see you guys again soon.